ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining today. This is your host Nino inviting you to a joint exploration of the software on the Pocket 386 Nouveau Vintage computer. So this is a sort of modern retro laptop, which is featuring a 386 processor, 8 megabyte of RAM, a 2 gigabyte compact flash card, with Windows 3.11 on it, and basically all sorts of pleasantries you could only dream of in the 80s and early 90s. And what you're seeing here is a little bit of a setup I have concocted in order to keep the machine cooler during operation. So I'm having here this book stand, and on the back of it, I have opened two such flaps for components in order to facilitate airflow. And over there, I have simply taken such a little commercial ventilator and put it behind the book stand and let these openings face that. That should provide for some cooling. It's not strictly necessary as per the specifications of the machine, but let's say I have made the experience in the past that thermals can be an issue, and therefore I prefer to keep things nice and cool, even preventively. So now turning it on, our way too fast 386 machine is starting. You see, the show already progresses that far. The machine is about double as fast, if not triple as fast as a comparable machine of, of the time. And what unfortunately old laptops no longer quite so nicely deliver is the screen for here. The screen is matte yet crystal clear. Now this thing is offering you two input possibilities, either the 4 to 3 aspect ratio that you're seeing in front of you, or one could also opt for 16 to 9, what this bezel is naturally constructed for. However, I prefer to keep it as 4 to 3 because frankly, I'm just simply more used to seeing the shapes that way. And now, as we are here already booted up in DOS, uh, there, yeah, MS-DOS version 6.22, we might as well have a look around. So, dear P, like paging, what are we having? We are having command.com, TC, which must be turbo C indeed, some test dir, TW, which I think I briefly tried out and I think it's something Chinese, UC-DOS, or I don't know, micro something, DOS, then actual DOS, Foxbase, HD copy, that must be something for copying the hard disk. I wouldn't be doing that, I would just be using Linux with a card reader. PC basic, which is super cute. TB, that must be turbo basic if TC is turbo C. Then we're having, I believe, the driver for the USB. Then two Windows directories. And Configsys, autoexec, but, and yeah, some access. And then there is some 3D there and some game there. Let's try the 3D thing. What have we got here? So 3D exe. This must be some benchmarking thing, considering how everything is called that way. Or maybe I should start a batch file. Uh, not but, but bench, so. Okay, complaining, then it must really be simply 3D. And, ooh. So that it is, ladies and gentlemen. The incredible workstation is capable of displaying 3D graphics. I mean, wow. <laughs>
Okay, so this seems to be some sort of benchmark and something is counting down there and I wonder what it will tell us once it finishes. Okay, so the frames per second were 131, I mean, okay. If, if that's what it calculated. I'm not sure that is what it displays. But <laughs> okay, so we had a nice benchmark thingy. And that seems to be all there is to it. I'm normally not that interested in games, but given that it was the neighboring directory, let's just... Ah, oh, yes. Unfortunately spent too much time on Linux lately. CD backslash back, uh, dot dot backslash games, not forward slash. You can't do that? CD, so. CD games. Why is this so difficult? Invalid directory, really? A game, CD game. Okay, what have we got in the game directory? So there's Doom. Okay, there's Duck, Dune 2. <laughs> Something which sounds like an impolite abbreviation and, and then all sorts of other things and there seems to be also Wolfenstein 3D and this must be World of Warcraft maybe so CD Wolf 3D No, actually just let's let's check it out out and it's really funny because there seems to be also a less powerful version of it for the 8086 but we will take the wolf 3d and yeah control Customize control, mouse enabled, use joysticks, customize controls. So. So we're having here the WSAD typical sequence. Fire is U, strafe is I, open is E. E, e U, I. Okay. Then let's get along with this and new game yeah episode one how can I play daddy okay so as you can see the game is extremely playable and yeah I completely forgot where I should go, but can I really shoot? Yes, I can shoot. I'll just play plant. They will not see me if I'm just a plant. Okay, anyway, so that's playable. Do, does do wish to leave with such hasty abandon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, then let's get up again. And then let's clarify the question, but can it play Doom? I think the answer very much looks like, yes, it can. Okay, new game. I'm too young to die, whatever, or did I press just something very, very different?
Was I firing with this? Yeah, I was. Hmm, something is killing me already. That is not so good. Okay. Um, I will just chicken out, I believe. And quit game is indeed what I want. Yes, I want to quit. Okay, so the games seem to be, generally speaking, working. And when I have the time, I shall, of course, install on this Red Baron. Now, shall we go to something classical, PC basic? Mm, okay, what is it if it's not PC basic? Ah, it is Basica and GW basic. I think they were fundamentally similar, but Basica needed, I think, a ROM to work. Interesting, interesting. Basica is apparently working. 10 print. Hello. I believe GW Basic was the more advanced of the two. Huh? And you exit it with system, not with quit, not with end, not with help me God. GW basic. Yeah, as you can see, looks looks nearly the same. And in both cases, we're getting about 60,000 bytes free. So, this seems to be working as well. I'm actually wondering, ah oh yeah, system. Some other ancient basics wanted by. <laughs> anyway, so we tried that. Let's try then the Turbo Basic. CDTB. TB. Yay! Okay, so where do we go? We have a new file, please. And I haven't ever used Turbo Basic, but let's do that. Print. Hello. Yeah, but with double quotes, please, not with single quotes. Hello. Print there. So we're having hello there. And now let us save it. Sha, sure, no name, please go ahead. Yeah, save it. Um, overwrite, yes. Should I escape this now? Not sure myself. Edit, no. So run, ran it immediately. Okay. And I now, in order to get out of this, must likely say Alt E for editing. Yes. So yeah, you can do that. And one can go for compile. And I wonder, is it now done or what does it do? Alt E for edit, Alt F for quit, for instance. And then saying dir. We're having here no name X. Did it actually compile it? Error in X file. Okay, so apparently I don't know how to do this and this totally did not work. Speaking of which, we should try out Turbo C. I think I had already started playing with this once. Yeah, I had. Exactly, I wanted to run this and this was not going. But let me see. Compile. Com make an exe file, please. Ah, yeah, exactly. You need it here just to make one thing in the environment, no, not in the environment, in the directories, 
yeah, one needs to adjust that this is not turbo C2, but TC. You know what I mean? The directory in which we are is TC, it's not turbo C2. So, this will need to be a little bit fixed. Okay, and alt compile, compile to object, success, and alt compile make exe file, exe is up to date, okay, and alt compile get info, <laughs> I don't know, let's just simply get out of here and see whether our no name exe will do something. Ah. Yeah, it terminates abnormally. What happens if I remove this and save it? Overwrite it, yes, please. Print, hello. Yeah, just do that. Make an exe file. Okay. Alt F, os shell, please. No name. <sighs> okay. What is with no name exe? Dear. Yeah, here's the library directory and here's the include directory. What is it so much complaining about? Ah, yeah, right. We are already in, in the sh just It's just a little shell. Okay. Unable to open include file stdio.h. I think that will warrant a little bit more investigation. To the e. So here it's not. Okay, what have we got further? Dear include contains it. So if I start this and if I go to the options, to the directories, ah, oh, it just um, redid the nonsense. So we will have to fix this again. So you see what happens if you don't correct it, then you cannot actually compile things, but it's not the end of the world. We will fix this. I just don't get why it returned them and pick a file name. Options, save options. Aha. Overwrite, yes. Alt compile, make exe file. Great. And alt file. Os shell no name and we're getting the hello so right we have to save the options after we update the options and we are able to use turbo c to be frank that will be certainly one of the things i will most enjoy using here i believe then getting up saying again dear p We may explore this TW just to show you it. I think it makes everything just 
accepting Chinese glyphs. Okay, so TW. And yeah, we're getting here some sort of hieroglyphs, which before that we were not having. I'm going to quit it. And gone we are, and it was using the box drawing characters. It's really funny because being Bulgarian, I am used to seeing such things for Bulgarian. Now let's get up again and let's look at other things. We're having Fox Space. So this should be a database program. Okay, Fox. Okay, and now I demand some sort of um, command line. And <laughs> I know nothing about it, so I just got out of it as fast as I could. Now let's look at other things to try. Yeah, what was in UC-DOS? Interesting. What is Readme Exit telling us? Okay. So this must be something for more Asian purposes than mine. I'll therefore skip this whole thing entirely. Before I end up in something which is having nice menus, but which I do not understand, right? Then we're having HD copy. I mean, I'm just curious. I don't intend on doing that, but I want to see what is there. HD copy. Aha. Uh -huh. This is super strange. Okay, this is some sort of hard disk or disk in general handling program. But you know, not actually having drives, like this thing has a USB drive and a C drive, I'm not entirely sure what I would be using it for. I will, however, best just get out of this. <laughs> it says quitting. I don't know whether this is actually doing so. It says escape is exit. All right, maybe HD copy is not the best thing to play. And what is in test? There's some um, top benchmark thing. Oopsie. CD top. I wanted to know, can one navigate with the asterisk? But look, I think I discovered something funny. The right shift does not seem to be working. This is a block, just to show it to you a bit in full screen. So the right shift does not seem to be working. I can press right shift, and if I press a T, it is a small T. If I press a six, I'm just getting the six. If I'm pressing eight, I'm not getting an asterisk, but just eight. I think this is just simply, this right shift is really reserved for the mouse function. And so you can only operate with left shift. That's just, nothing wrong with that, just, Good to know. <laughs> so CD top bench. And top bench. Old school PC benchmarking. Hmm. I mean, yeah, one can do that. Let's press B. Yeah, real-time benchmarking. What, what have we got here?
I don't even know. <laughs> do, do I wait for something or was it that already? It, it is telling us that this is what it most likely thinks this machine is, is similar to. It tells us that the CPU is AMD at 40 megahertz, which is actually pretty fast. Uh, 386 SX might be also clocked, you know, historically at 25 megahertz would have been entirely possible. And then you're getting here a little bit of video adapter stuff. Okay. <laughs> so that was the top benchmark. And then CD Windows. What is in Windows? Ah, we're still in test. CD Windows. Dear. Okay, that looks very much like a real Windows installation. Yeah, you're having your notepad and regedit and, and all the pleasures. So C Windows must be the real Windows directory. Then what is Win311? This is the installation file directory. And you are recognizing that by the underscores on the names. Okay, nice to know. Uh, have I done something? I think I somehow turned on this whole mouse story. How did I got rid of it though? FNF5 mouse internal FN5. Okay, let's hope there's no more mouse. No more mouse. Will shift work? Shift 8 gives me an asterisk. Yes. So when the mouse is on, you can't use that, but turn off the mouse, you get everything. Dear P is giving me Turbo C, we tried that, test we tried, TW we tried, UC DOS we tried, normal DOS is normal DOS, Fox Space we tried, HD Copy, PC Basic, Turbo Basic, Windows 311, Windows, and 3D as well as games. So we're pretty much through. Let's just now get as a dessert, of course, to Windows itself. Uh, not CD, just, just Win. I always have loved the colors of Windows 3.11. Like I admit, I actually think this was one of those most high contrast, easy to use designs which were later actually lost when they started to do these pseudo 3D elements in Windows 95. I actually think this interface is clearer. So we're having Microsoft Advanced ba Basic. <laughs> this is yet again one of these things like Basica and GW Basic, like this GWiz Basic. So I assume I can just system my way out of here. We're having Microsoft Basic, which would have been nice to be exactly that, QBasic. Yes, I love QBasic. Alt help about, please. I want to know which version. 1.1. Well, online you can get, you know, I like 4.5. But still, you're having here the index and the contents and you know things like that actually taught me programming that you you went here and then you started to to see what parameters does it have and and then you could also go for the index and look at how do different functions and statements operate and like here for instance to draw a circle and I believe there was somewhere here at some point in one file a recommendation to join the IRA, the Irish Republican Army. I am not sure was this something which was done with a hex editor at my school, but I have 100% seen it in the help file. 
<laughs> so okay and then the ms-dos editor oh gosh this is lovely it's interesting that it does not seem to be using its more common box drawings but is relying more on ASCII I wonder whether that can be changed in the settings but it does not seem so edit nothing no interesting indeed so either this is a clone or a weird setup of it maybe though it is so because the box drawing char characters are used in the Chinese interface options so and so to not interfere with Chinese editing they have set up the editor in such a way that it is using other characters so that that would certainly make sense okay so these are the applications and I believe we can now change also to main and here we're having a file manager print manager control panel window setup which is interesting a file manager looking just simply as always oh I love this view exit <laughs> control panel I find it so cute that this was already available and in, in terms of color you know we're having here Windows default but if memory serves right there was such a sort of McDonald's type color scheme yes <laughs> so yeah you, you, you can do that <laughs> like as it, what a terrible day to have eyes right <laughs> Ah, interesting. And there are LCD default settings. Then were needed further, and you can go for monochrome, you know. Oh, some completely black and white windows. Color, what color? <laughs> so this, this was absolutely, absolutely cute. Okay, let's go back maybe to Windows default right fonts we are having Arial courier MS Sans and MS Serif Roman and Times New Roman oh my gosh it has them both does it have Helvetica no Helvetica the funny part is this that these new fonts we got used to Arial, Times New Roman and Courier New were made in copy of older or inspired by older fonts which however would have been expensive to license. So Arial is what used to be Helvetica. Times New Roman is what used to be I believe Times Roman and Courier New was just Courier or something like that and <laughs> I am therefore a little bit entertained when I see rests of, of this. And this Roman font for plotter is apparently another such variation. Okay, enough fonts. Then we are having the enhanced mode. I assume we are running in enhanced mode. Like what else shall we be running in? And drivers and fax. Oh yes, please. Shall we be using it for email and fax? Okay. What are my installed modems? Let's say none and let's say we don't have a fax. <laughs> okay. Alt settings, exit. Okay, so that is the main menu. Let's go to window again. Let's look at games. Yeah, Solitaire, Minesweeper and Hearts, Minesweeper. Oh, I should likely activate the mouse for that one. Yeah, let me just get out of this. What is it actually that we have in startup? Nothing. How does the network look like? There's a setup for the network and something called remote access. Which however needs to be installed first. So. 
there's no installed remote access yet and the network setup is taking its sweet time because it is looking for a modem which I don't have or a network driver okay so Windows network simply don't have it and likely will not go for it and then we're having accessoires media player paint terminal actually I'm most happy when I'm having a terminal you know like yeah I need to, to figure out the serial part and stuff but essentially I'll be able to co connect with this to other computers that way and then we're having write and paintbrush I mean this is like the most classical paint program right <laughs> certainly a flashback to many of people's childhood and then we're having greetings from right and that indeed concludes our software overview what does of course appear noteworthy is that this edition does not feature any more advanced office suit there were a number available and of course microsoft's office certainly won also the office wars of that era but that is a task which is evidently left to the user all in all this is a good starting point for doing your own things the system is not overly full with software though it has a nice selection to demonstrate its general capabilities what you do with this from here appears to be really up to you and with that today's little review is over i hope you enjoyed that i must say the machine is really nicely cool with this solution like it actually is colder than body temperature so that totally did work I hope to greet you here soon again for further adventures. If you're not a subscriber yet, then please consider joining our friendly club. Until we meet again, I wish you a wonderful time. See you hopefully soon. And from me, goodbye.